since the market melted down last quarter, the price of gold has been on a roll. That's exactly what you expect in times of economic chaos. But there's clearly more to this story because earlier this week, we learned that Newmont Mining is buying Gold Corp for $10 billion in all stock transaction, which comes on top of Rangel's fairly recent merger with Barrick Gold. Suddenly, the once sleepy gold miners have become a lot more intriguing. When you see a spate of deals, you got to ask yourself, who might be next? When you look at the smaller mid-tier gold miners, one of the best players is Kirkland Lake Gold, KL for all you home gamers, a company that operates in Canada and Australia. Kirkland Lake stock has more than doubled since its shares began trading on the New York Stock Exchange just in August of 2017. More importantly, the company's given us a series of positive updates in recent months. At the end of November, we learned about some terrific results from the key mine in Australia. Then last week, we got some fabulous quarter, fourth quarter production numbers, up 39% year over year and much higher than expected. Those are some stellar fundamentals. And you've also got the possibility of more M&A activity in the space. So let's take a closer look with Tony McCooch. He's the president and CEO of Kirkland Lake Gold. Get a better read on his company as prospects. Mr. McCooch, welcome to Mid Money. No, oh, thank you. Nice, uh, nice to be here and get the opportunity to, 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 to tell you lots of good things about KL Gold. Well, Tony, let's talk about that. What was the message that you sent to investors in your investor day? Well, I think uh, I think a lot of people look at our look at our share price performance. And say, geez, you know, the stock's most doubled in the last year and a half. You know, the, I think I missed it. What's there's nothing more left here. And we try to tell people, well, we're, we're not even the, the best is still yet to come. But we have a strong strong earnings uh, growth uh, year over year. We expect to see that. We're a profitable company, growing cash flow. And then I think uh, one of the biggest things we talk about growing our production, but we're growing growing our production at. at at uh, higher grades, lower unit costs, so we're, it's even more valuable growth coming forward than what, what's been in the past. So, you know, this is, this is a pretty exciting uh, company, and it's also a very valuable uh, investment. And, you know, you don't, even have to worry, you don't even have to watch what the price of gold's doing. You just have to watch what, what the company's doing. Uh, you know what? I, I have to tell you, Tony, that I had started to feel that Canada was tapped out and there was no inexpensive ore to be taken out of the ground, and there was too much money, and the costs were too high. Why does, why does Kirkland Lake have these properties and no one else seems to have them left? Well, you know, uh, you know, so, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, you have to explore. I mean, sometimes the best place to look for gold is where you already found it. Uh, the, the mine we have in Australia, I mean, we're, I think we're on the cusp of a, or I've said before, we had a tiger by the tail. We're on the cusp of a, of, of, as, 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 of a great new discovery. So as much as we've already found, I think there's, there's something really big here and something really special, very high grade and very high margin upper mine there. And part of it then is, is you, get that, you get that scale because of, because of what we did in Kirk and Lake Gold a few years back. Uh, the merger of three smaller companies to make one bigger company give us more capital uh, dis uh, ability to, to, to display capital better and, and, and invest wisely in these mines that we weren't able to do priorly, prior. To your position because you're a growth company. Uh, we're seeing some lower growth companies merge in the industry, but they're big dogs. My friend David Favor and I were talking about it today. What is this urge to merge among the Newmonts and among the, the barracks, which had been, you know, in a different generation, were growth companies? Well, I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes by, by putting that together, I mean, again, if you look at Kirk and Link by us merging what we did back in 2016 with St. Andrews and with New Market Gold, we were able to put ourselves in a position where we could, we could now invest differently and look at our mines differently. We were able to close some mines that, that were non-profitable and, and take a step back and, 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 and reinvest in them. We had the capital resources available to us. We had more money. You know, I think that, that, that goes for the, the larger players as well. I mean, and there's lots of things that can happen. You can change your approach in terms of how, how you can move the business forward to, by, by doing these mergers. And I think they're on the, they're on the right track. I can't say that uh, there's anything wrong with it because you look at the example of Kirk and Lake Gold and the success we've had, and you have to see that they, this is, these, 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 these people and these groups can be successful too. All right, Tony, let's talk about gold. I'm a bit of a gold bug, as everybody knows, since I started the show. I've always said people should have some exposure to gold, whether it be GLD. Gold coins are fine. The bullion's terrific. Um, where do you think gold's going? Uh, well, yeah, I know I get that asked me a lot of times. I mean, you know, in the long term, I think gold is always going to be, a, be, a, be definitely something that we, we, that's always going to be around. I mean, gold is, gold is, is, is you know, you, 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 can't, you can't print more of it. You can't uh, dilute it down. It, it is what it is. But if, if, uh, if we just look at where gold is today, 
and 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 you know in U.S. dollar terms, which we're, we're just tucking around thirteen hundred dollar an ounce, but in Australian dollar terms, gold in December actually hit peak, peak, peak pricing for gold, and it's testing that same as in the Canadian uh, uh, in Canadian dollar terms. So gold is 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 very strong where we are today, and. You know, I think as the future goes on, people will more and more see that gold as an investment and 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 that uh, and and value some some way to store value uh, is is going to be important. Were you surprised when Bitcoin was up so much and gold was down so much? Not really. I mean, sometimes you get uh, you know people will look at something as a as a new investment or a new opportunity and they'll invest in it, but. But then at the same time, I think as, as time goes on, we all get a chance to, to understand what's happening. And, you know, again, everybody will go back and look. I well, got all these things like Bitcoin. But one thing about gold, it's a tangible asset and it's a tangible, tangible value that I can, I can hold in my hand. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. I, I was, I'm not allowed to short anything, but when, when Bitcoin was at 20000 gold was always at 1100 1200 It's just crazy. One does it. One they can print all they want, and the other one you can't find at all. I've got to tell you, Tony McCooch, congratulations on your finding costs and on your growth. You are a true growth company. He's president and CEO of Kirkland Lake Gold. Great to see you, sir. Thank you. May have money's back after break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from May have Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.